Okay, so we're going to do some E-primer tests. This is 30 gauge nichrome wire wrapped around an eighth inch drill bit mandrel. And uh, I'm going to use different numbers of turns. And I'm going to give it 24 volts from a lab power supply and uh, see what each one looks like. Uh, so each of these has been dipped in a uh, slurry of um, smokeless powder. So I mixed smokeless powder with some acetone until it uh, formed kind of a slurry gel and uh, dipped the coils of each of these E-primers in that slurry until they dry it and let them evaporate and dry off. So the first one is two coils counting from the bottom, full coils, I got two full coils here. So I'm going to set that in the test rig, spread those apart a little bit. Put that in the test rig and give this 24 volts. Okay. So that was that. I'm going to do three turns now. <coughs> Spread my legs of this thing apart. Three turns. 24 volts. Come on. Four turns. Four turns, 24 volts. Quite a bit slower. Five turns. That arc flashed on that. <laughs> it was already hot. So they're slowing down, which is not a huge surprise, because less current is going to pass as the resistance increases, which is going to happen as we add turns. Uh, I think that makes this six. Hope that's six. <laughs> so what we're looking for here is a, kind of a test of lock time. What's the best number of turns and best voltage to uh, to set these off. <clears throat> okay, uh, seven turns. And I don't remember what this one was. I think it was uh, three turns, but I double dipped it, so it's uh, extra spicy. Okay, here we go. Let me count the turns there. I think I've got three turns of wire on the extra spicy one. All right, I'm out.